Hello again, this is David from the tech support team here at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be covering the concept of block time. Block time is the tool unique to our software that you can use to schedule over those open shifts that you don't necessarily need. Block time can be considered like another member in your system that can be scheduled over the top of any hour of any day and scheduled over repeats and rotations over a period of time on certain days, certain hours. And you may have seen it here, such as our system here on the test or looking at our weekly shifts view. You can see that on certain schedules that there are block time elements in place here, say on weekends. On our administrator schedules, members don't normally work during the weekends, so we don't need them, so we just schedule what we call block time over the top of those hours, so there's the difference between open and blocked. You may have seen that here. And then on other views here, you may notice on, say, the calendar view for the month, those blocked shifts do not even show as purple open shifts. They're, they're not present on the calendar itself for screen space adjustments. So the administrator schedule you'll see is not on weekends and neither is the police station. So we can adjust that block time uh, as administrators just like we can any other person. So let's go over to the hourly editor that I have open in another screen here. Under schedules you have the hourly editor and you'll see from more of a, a linear fashion for each day the block time that's listed over the particular hours. On say Friday the 26th of January for the administrators their normal shift is from 7 to 3 which is open and then blocked after that now block time can be manipulated just like any of your other members you'll notice the drag and drop features are there and you can grab any side of the block time to adjust shifts accordingly if you need to schedule somebody out a couple more hours for whatever reason you can certainly do that the trash can will remove it uh, and you can add it as well so the membership listed here you want to choose the shift that you're working with and let's just say on an administrator schedule here for the 26th we don't need a second administrator from 7 to 3 and maybe they're going to come in late and come in at noon and only work noon to 3 so we need to add block time between 7 and noon well once we select the position here we go down to the list of names and well we don't see the block time listed there the list of names is listed here on the bottom of the screen on the bottom of the frame and you would select a member right at the top called block time. And you can say block time, add block time between 7 and noon and the, and the black line adjusts accordingly and then you would add and now you can see the block time has been added then on that particular position between 7 and noon and if we go back to the work schedule and refresh that and go down to the 26th, you'll now see that that position has been adjusted to only show an opening between 12 and 3. So this is how you're manipulating any shift of any given day and you decide what shifts are open and which ones are not. And the same goes for, say, the police station. Uh, I have a police officer here between 7 and 3, but let's say I don't need that for the whole day. I can actually cover it up with block time by dragging the time all the way over. And now that's, that shift is particularly blocked. It's been blocked out, and so people can't misconstrue that as perhaps an open shift that they can click on and make available and uh, work extra hours. This is how you clean up your schedule to make it uh, you know, so that only the particular hours that are open are the ones that you need. So you get to organize that information as you wish. Block time can also be used uh, via the repeats and rotations tool. Let's say on the Rocky Road station, we don't need a second EMT and higher on most days. So, but there are days where I might need two, but most days I only need one. So what I can do here is schedule block time over that second position every day instead of going through and adding it manually through the hourly editor day by day. I can go under schedules to the repeats and rotations tool and there's a block block time member in there as well. If you go all the way to the bottom of your list here, you'll see a block time member listed. And you can put the block time member on the Rocky Road station 
EMT spot number two, all week, all day, every day, and you can even change the range to clean up the month if you wish and let that run. And the beauty of block time running on repeats and rotations is you're not gonna get the conflicts that you would say with trying to schedule a member to put over the top of something else. Block time will work as kind of like pouring water into a glass of rocks. If rocks are the scheduled time and the members that are on the schedule and block time is the water, it would pour in and it's really only gonna cover up the holes. So it's a great last step as you're building out your schedule in the future to to have a clean white slate, have everything open, put everybody in on their shifts as needed, and at the very end, what you can do is say, I'm gonna schedule block time over the whole entire schedule, all positions, all day, every day, and it will fill in all the open spots and give you a, a nice clean schedule uh, for all those open spots that you no longer need. Uh, and then you can open them up again later, and that's the beauty of it. So if we go back to the schedule here, you'll see that there's no second position on the Rocky Road schedule uh, going forward uh, in only the spots that were open prior to it. If we go to the monthly calendar here, you'll see each day for the Rocky Road just has the one spot available as needed as you go along. So there's a very useful tool in our system, Block Time, to organize the shifts of all your schedules as needed. And if you have any questions on that, we feel free to contact our support line or email anytime here at Aladtech. Thank you.